No, it doesn't matter whether it's only you or whether there are some other people who are going through the same things you are going through. What matters is knowing that you shall push through the pain. I am talking about how you can push through the pain and also let you know that it's okay to cry but you have to learn to push through the pain sometimes things happen in our lives and they do make us cry for hours for minutes for days for weeks sometimes for months others have cried for years conditionally because things are not going in the right way that they ex expect them to be going. If there are things that happen in our lives and they make us feel like you are finished. Things that will make you feel like all your energy has been taken away from you. Things that are so painful. Sometimes the pain gets so tough, so deep, so excruciating, but it's okay. It's okay to feel that pain. It's okay to cry. What's not okay is for you to allow and get consumed by that time, rather by that pain. You know, pain, misery, struggling, crying, those tears, you know, all those things that you have been facing and feel like, oh, I'm the only person going through this. All that is part of the process. It's part of the journey through which you are going to succeed. Life has taught me that sometimes pain, tears, misery, you know, the loss of loved ones, you know, all those deep things, sometimes loss of finances, financial muscle, you no know, loss of good health. Most of these troubles come before our success arrives. Before success comes knocking at your door, you find that you have already gone through the pain. And how victorious you are going to become, how successful you are going to become, or the depth and the size of your testimony hugely depends on the way you handle your painful moments, the way you push through the painful experience, you know, determines how successful you are going to be. You don't have to run away from the pain, but rather learn how you can wisely push through the pain. Don't fight back. Because sometimes fighting back means that you are fighting your journey. Don't fight back. Sometimes uh, the pain comes in a way that appears so tough for you to handle. Things appear like you can't do anything to get through them. But most of the times, if you keep committed, determined to make it through, you will always make it through. Don't allow to be trailed from your journey by the trials, by the temptations, by the misery, by the loss of loved ones, by the, not, the doubting Thomases and everything negative that comes your way as you journey on, as you soldier on. What you do when troubles come, the best thing to do is to you for you to wise up and avoid giving up and giving in. Giving in will mean that the storms will sweep you along. You will disappear from your sin. You will disappear from your journey and from your road. Yet, giving up, of course, also means that you are losing it all. If you are to win, you don't have to quit. You have to make it very clear in your mind, even if things are very tough and painful, even when you feel you are physically weak, maybe you're not doing well, you know, health-wise, financially, you 
have to put it in your mind, in your actions, and in your ways, and make the situation and the universe know that you are not ready to give up, that you are not going to quit, because we all know that quitters never win. Quitters don't win. Once you pull out of the journey, then you can't make it up to the end. So you have to assure your pain, that situation, that you are not running away. In such a situation, when you feel the pain is too much, when you feel it has become too miserable for you, you feel like it's too hot and it's burning you up, you have to embrace the habit of making affirmations. And I'm talking about positive affirmations. Assure your situation that no matter what is happening to you, no matter what comes tomorrow, you're not going to give up. You could be a student, for example, and all of a sudden, you know, things start working in a negative way. You feel like negative energy has come your way. Please speak to that situation. For example, you can affirm that, yes, troubles have come. I can feel all your attacks around me, but listen to me. I'm not leaving this university until I get my qualifications. I'll only leave once I get my degree, once I get my certificate, once I get my diploma. I came here to achieve, and I must achieve. You could be sick, and you feel like the pain is too much, and probably maybe, maybe the doctors are telling you that things are not all right. And you yourself feel that things are not fine. Please don't give up and don't give in into that situation. Because once you give in, it will swallow you. Assure that situation that you feel the pain, but you're not giving up. You have, you have to confess and affirm that, oh, I'm sick, but I'm getting out of this hospital. You know, safe and alive. I'm here to get healthy again. I regain my health. I regain my strength and my energy. I'm receiving my complete healing, you know, physically, mentally, psychologically. I'm removing all the toxins from my body. I'm healing in a natural way. God is with me. You know, the universe understands what I want, and I'm getting it no matter what. Yes, please. You don't have to affirm that I'm not abandoning this project until I realize you know, the objectives which I set out to achieve. I'm not giving up on this business opportunity. I'm not giving up on this job opportunity. I have applied for long. So now that I go, this job and trials have come. I'm not ready to give up. I'm here. I shall only leave when I feel it's right for me to leave, no matter what. Speak to that situation. Situations listen. And respect us situations will learn to bow before you they have ears and they listen to instructions tell that situation that it can rage on for as long as it can but you're not going to give up for example maybe you are an addict to drugs and you feel you want to move out of that situation please you will tell that situation the urge for you to go and do those other things like smoking, you know, any other thing that you're addicted to. Tell the urge that no matter what happens, I'm going to make it through. I'm not going to fall a victim of, you know, of addiction any further. I'm not living prematurely. I'm not dying prematurely until I witness this and that. You know, you have to affirm and then plant what you believe is what you need. Approach whatever is not necessary in your life at that moment and then plant in there things you believe you deserve, the good things that you believe you deserve. Declare what you want, what you deserve, what you want to see in your life and then prepare yourself to receive because once we believe, then we receive. Perceive it and then go ahead and you know receive it. You can assure that situation that you know it's hard, it's painful, but please assure that situation that you are determined and strong enough to push through it all. The tears might come again, they might come back. It's okay to cry. Cry as much as you can, but don't cry forever. 
it's too painful but you can push through the pain be wise enough to push through the pain yes it could be unjust you know but still you have to stay and assure the situation that you are staying until you go to where you are destined to assure that situation and then how you have to change your mindset you know and fix it towards what you want or what your goal is and you shall always always get there and then the other thing is through the pain as you cry you need to strive to make the new you stronger than the former weak you the new you has to become you know fearless than the fearful former you you have to become thick and tough skinned such that you will you know weather all the storms they can rage on as as much as they want but once you stand firm once you stand still believing that the universe is aligned towards your side that all the good things are coming towards you then i can assure you that you shall get what you want tears will end you can't rage on forever it never happens like that one day one time things will work out for you and you shall come out victoriously and happy and as you cry on and as you push on through the storms you have to learn to respect the power of time time is such a sweet wonderful thing that each of us has time is such a healer and while going through the pain remember to respect the power of time simply trust the process don't rush anything and you will see things falling into place for you you will see things working out for you and then try to get out of your comfort zone dare to adventure dare to venture into new things things unknown to you previously and then grab all those opportunities that that could be hidden in there or under there and then you have to outstretch you know stretch out and reach to the unknown just like i have said venture into anything that is contributing something towards your success towards your progress towards your well-being i know a time is coming when all those tears will be away a time of laughter joy peace and happiness breakthrough is coming yes i know it takes a lot of hard work it actually takes a lot of guts to make it through because when you're struggling when your life gets miserable you'll get people who will doubt you you will lose friends along the way you will lose colleagues along the way you might lose your work your job because of bad health you might lose properties maybe because they are be- they are bank attached or they were attached by banks because of you know loans and things you never you never cleared or you are becoming unable to clear you know you might lose a lot along the way but the truth is you will get to that point simply don't lose your determination don't get away from the course don't get away you know from your path keep walking through your path believing that things are going to work out for your good it takes a lot of self push and commitment push yourself up to those heights where you want to be remember it is okay to cry when things are not going the right way for you and also remember you're not the only person going through that people go through fire but in a different way once going through the fire don't fight back simply learn how you can push through the fire push yourself to your success it's okay to cry but don't permit anything to make you cry forever you can push through the pain.
pain. If you're alive, you're breathing, and you have some energy, that's enough. You can attract positive energy and then radiate the positive energy into everything you are doing. You shall definitely get through it all in a victorious manner. Tears might come and they shall come because nobody ever said that life is meant to be a bed of roses. When troubles come, stand still because you are strong enough more than you have ever imagined. You might be crying right now, just like some other person might be crying. Thou are known to you, but one day, one time, happiness, joy, peace, progress is going to be your portion. Thank you very much for watching. And if you ain't subscribed, please kindly consider subscribing to this channel. Yeah, my name is Rachel. I love you and I wish you yeah, the very best. Remember here we share positivity, we inspire each other and we live positively. We believe in the power of breakthrough. We believe that we can always push through and things will work you know, for us. And if you're a returning subscriber and you're here for this video, thank you very much. Please remember to also hit on the notification bell and you know you can like you can as well share the link uh, to this video and links to other videos to on this channel feel free to also go back and watch all those other videos that we have on this channel i love you very much and i wish you all the very best may god bless you i'll be meeting you in my next video and until then all the best I know from me to you. See you then. And God bless you.